is the second year that I've had this group. And I'm proud. I just want to say that I'm so proud of them because I had a whole week every single night this week. And as teenagers, I think that that's just a good goal to reach all on its own because they all think they have better things to do. But I had such a great turnout all week. Um, we really focused on strapping on our Jesus sandals and following Christ. So all these girls you see in their sandals, cross followers now. And uh, we talked about, you know, saying yes and really just turning our focus on godly things and looking for him and all the little things in life and giving him the credit for what he does. And I'll let Summer tell you a little bit more about our week. Well, we, went, we met at the Franklin's house um, each night, and we talked, like she said, about learning how to say yes to God and no to ourselves. And holding each other accountable as well, as well as ourselves. And then talking a lot about prayer and how to pray. And that really helped us grow um, and strengthen our, our relationships with each other. And we learned a lot about ourselves and grew in our walk with God. And it was just an amazing week. If you saw us, uh, I know a lot of y'all saw us on Thursday night with the clothes pins. If you worked, uh, we played a game where... Everyone got a closed pin. They started out with one. And if you said no, then whoever heard you say it could take your closed pin and they could keep it for themselves and wear it. And it was supposed to represent, and I think they learned a lot. What did it teach y'all? That you're not, not, to say no. not to say no. What else did it teach you? How often you say no? <laughs> we yeah. don't even realize it. I personally didn't even make it to the dinner one. <laughs> and then going through the dinner plot, like hardly any of them wanted onions. And so they would be like, yes, I do want onions. <laughs> they couldn't say no. And then we just waited to take their clothes pins when they would say no. Yeah, so if they didn't speak to you when spoken to, don't take any offense to it because they could. <laughs> so I think that we just, we all grew the team this week. And, you know, just trying to show that you're not alone in anything that you do. If you're standing for Christ, then you already have something in common. And it's, it's just the little things that we need to notice that will strengthen us together. So, yeah, we have bracelets, so we'll call you all up. Hey, Jeff. Haley. Lainey. Oh. <laughs>
you're all connected in heaven, and by the way, you don't need to check your Snapchat to heaven. Mm-hmm. So I'll just say it. <laughs> what about my Bible? Everybody needs to take a Bible to heaven. God is the one. Can you take this to heaven and get out? Are you the Bible? Yeah. Yeah.